Hello, I'm Nigel Huddleston, the Minister for Sport, and I'd like to take the opportunity to wish Davy Green good luck for the Braith A Trust 10 in 10 event next month. Running 10 marathons in 10 days, a total of 262 miles, will be an incredible achievement, and what better location to do it than the beautiful Lake District. The Braith A Trust does fantastic work with young people, helping them contribute to their communities and enhancing their opportunities. Davy, I understand that you've already raised over £4,000 for this important work, which is fantastic. I'm sure you'll inspire many who will be watching you and cheering you on over the course of 10 gruelling days. Good luck. Well, starting on Friday, an amazing team of athletes will run 10 marathons in 10 days, 10 laps of Windermere. Uh, it's an amazing and epic feat that they will be seeking to achieve and all of it to raise funds for the amazing Brathy and the wonderful work they do supporting people both locally and nationally. So massive congratulations and thanks to all of those who are running and to everybody who's not running, make sure you donate and sponsor them to raise funds for Brathy. Hello, I'm Duncan and I'm back at Brathe for another 10 in 10. This will be my third attempt. I've run 34 marathons to date and a few ultras as well. And at the moment I'm from North Yorkshire. Yes, we've seen you here before. And can I just ask, going into day one, in one word, wrap up how you feel. Terrified. Back here for day one tomorrow morning for my 80th lap of the lake. I've very excited to be back here meeting the runners and uh, helping Braithay again. So, yeah, really excited and full enthusiasm. I have to just have to make sure I take it calmly for the first few days, though. Yeah. And in one word, Malk, uh, how do you feel going into day one? Excited. Hi, I'm Avril O'Donnell. I am a deputy head teacher from Scotland, uh, running the 10 and 10 this year. I have never done the 10 and 10 before, but I have run, I think, 51 or 52 marathons, including the Windermere Marathon once. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to taking on the challenge and hoping that the training has been sufficient. And as we go out for day one, in one word, describe how you're feeling. Terrified. Terrified? Yeah, that about sums it up, I think. Hi, I'm Journey. I'm 44 and I'm from York. Um, I am the race director for Sea York Run York. I've done a hundred official marathons now, including the Braithe 10 in 10 back in 2018. And although you've done this before, going into day one of the 2021 10 in 10, wrap it up in one word, how do you feel? Nervous. Nervous? Yeah, very. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle Woodcock, I'm 46 years old, and I'm a part-time primary school teacher and a self-supporting priest in the Church of England. I live not far from here, about 20 minutes just over that direction across the lake and I've run one marathon before which was London in 2016. And you broke your leg last year? I was meant to run the event last year um, and then Covid happened and then uh, in August last year I fractured my ankle so I couldn't do it in October so I've now been training for 18 months for this event, run about 3,000 miles in training so far <laughs> so hopefully Day one, hopefully I'm ready for it, as I'm ever going to be. Well, in one word, how do you say, as we go out for day one, how do you feel? Really excited and really nervous. And uh, yeah, come on, let's go and do this. Yep, that's two words, but we'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> I am Claire Harrison, I'm 44 and I'm from Bolton on the Water in the Cotswolds. I have run uh, or about 30 odd I need to count up marathons including uh, 10 of those at the 2017 10 in 10 uh, where I broke my leg I had a stress fracture on the last day so this time I want to come back and run and fingers crossed not get broken 
And in one word, how would you wrap up? How do you feel right now? Excited. Hello, I'm Catherine Higgins. I'm 27 years old. I actually live just over that hill and I've only ever done one official marathon before. Where was that? It was in Windermere, right here, 2019. And summing up into one word, here we go into day one. How do you feel? Health. Morning, Gary here. Um, day one, Rathay 10 in 10. Coming up to my 60th birthday. Um, originally from the Wirral, uh, now living in Gloucester. And really looking forward to challenging myself. How many marathons have you done so far? Last weekend, I did my 200th marathon, but I'll couch that with the fact that I've never done two in two. So 10 in 10 is in at the deep end. Okay, so looking into day one, in one word, sum up how you feel. Bricking it. And I know that's two words. <laughs> we'll have that. Hi, I'm Davy Green. I'm 52 years old and I'm from Launceston in Cornwall. I've done 219 marathons, 34 of them here, which is three 10 in 10s plus some marathons, uh, all of them slowly. You'd think I'd be good at it by now. And um, to wrap it all up in one word, surreal, because uh, don't pinch me because I'm living the dream and I don't want to wake up. Hi, I'm Neil. I'm from uh, Gaston, just down the road. I've uh, done 11 marathons previously, um, but never back-to-back -back like this. So uh, looking forward to the challenge. It's a great charity and I uh, can't wait to get started. And in one word, going into day one, how do you describe how you're feeling right now? It's perilous. Not perilous. It's, um... <laughs> Perilous, petrified. is all right. Petrified. <laughs> petrified. Is petrified too strong a word? No, petrified's no, good. No, petrified. Hi everyone, my name is Pat Norris. I'm 54 years of age. Uh, this is my second uh, attempt at the Braith A10 in 10. I loved it so much, I'm having another go. And I'll actually complete my 200th marathon on day five. I think we might be in for a bit of rough weather, but it's going to be a fantastic journey. I cannot wait. And day one, in one word, what's going through your mind? Surviving till day two. Survive. Survive. <laughs> Well, here we are again. Um, this is my third attempt around this uh, around this lake, this event, uh, 2019, 2020, and this year. Um, can't wait to get going now. Uh, just hoping that uh, the weather's a bit kinder than last time. No hurricanes, thunderstorms, no trees falling down. Uh, just hoping that it all goes to plan and we all get away safely and all get back safely in 10 days' time. And as we go out for day one, in one word, how do you feel? Does that answer the question? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is a word. It is now. Yeah. Hi, I'm James Thomas, 29 years old from Barrow in Furness. I work at BE Systems that build nuclear submarines for the Navy. I have currently run 22 marathons, including the 10 in 10 2019. And as we go out for day one, in one word, how do you feel? Hungover. <laughs>